People of God, I know, you know, we keep saying the nation need the Lord. We keep saying these young people. We don't know what's happening among the young people. But people of God, we know what's happening. The country needs to be evangelized. And the only way the Bible says, how would they hear without a preacher? Now, we think as the people of God, we want them coming to the church. But if you were to check the Bible, but Jesus never said, let them come into the temple, let them come into the church. The church is a place for sing together and give God praise for the things that he's done out there. But if, the pe the, if we're saying that people need the Lord and we need people saved, then we need to come on and evangelize this nation. Yes, people need the Lord, but how will they hear unless the people of God get out and share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? I'm going to ask you once again, when last have you shared? The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask someone if they're being saved. Do they want to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Share the cross and the death of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Do you know it's a sin if you do not um if you do not witness and tell people of the Lord Jesus Christ? We wonder about all these other sins. If it's a sin, if you as a Christian come in contact with people over and over again and never share the gospel of Jesus Christ because you're wondering what they're gonna think and you don't, oh well, you know, my life is gonna be a testimony. You scratch that. Your life is a testimony, yes. But still, Jesus said, go and compel them to come. Jesus didn't just sit back and say, oh, let me just let my life be a testimony. He went out. He sent his disciples out. Suppose we, you know, suppose Jesus had done that. So let me just walk, be quiet, and let my life be a testimony. Suppose the apostles to do that. You know, people of God, we always trying to justify what we do instead of just doing what God say. And that's the problem. Instead of just doing what the word of God say, go out, compel them to come, Share the gospel of the cross and compel people to be saved. Let them know that for God so loved the world. Go and do what God say, people of God. Now, we know people need to be saved. How about they here without a preacher? Not, not inviting them to church. But they don't go to church. How they here? That's why God in all his wisdom said, I want you to go into the highways and into the byways and compel them to come. Now, you know, we have highways, big highways in America. Even have some highways here, we call them. So that was in the word of God a long time. You think God didn't know we were going to have highways? So now, people of God, we need to share the gospel of Christ in this land, in this nation, back to the old way. We had a better nation when we had um, street meeting on every corner. We know this people of God. So I'm just going to talk straight talk to you today. Let's go back to what worked because obviously what we're doing isn't working to save our nation. So why we keep doing and expecting different results? Let's find something that worked. At least when people went out, and there were street meetings on almost every corner and proclaimed the gospel. At least people was getting saved and it was the power of God being seen. Now we don't see or hear anything except you turn on a TV. You really think that's what God wants? Oh, come on, people of God. I'm going to talk straight talk to you because this nation is on its way to hell. And God's going to hold us responsible for the souls that die and have not heard the gospel of Christ because we have not gone and shared it with them. God, Jesus said, go, compel them to come. God bless you this day, people of God.